step aside, MCW, there is a new sheriff in town. The Kastav 762 just got a new aftermarket part that converts it into an assault rifle with zero recoil. Not low recoil like the MCW, I mean literally zero recoil. And the gun remains competitive in terms of time to kill. So I personally recommend completing your week two challenges to unlock this aftermarket part and to give it a shot. Or if you're too lazy or not convinced at how good this part is yet, keep watching because I'll be sharing the time to kill this uh, attachment has, the stat trade-offs you have to work with, and the setup I'm rocking in this gameplay. So this new aftermarket part is called the Jack Requiem, and it is designed to complete eliminate your vertical recoil you may have saw that the vertical recoil stat is zero you can go ahead and penalize the vertical recoil as much as you want with other attachments vertical recoil will never be a thing when you are using this part which is absolutely amazing if you ask me it's not just vertical recoil I mean the horizontal and the gun kit recoil are also significantly reduced and they're stats that you really don't need to be concerned about when you're using the uh, jack requiem and this is great because this part alone directly addresses two of the three downsides that Modern Warfare 2 assault rifles have when you use them in Modern Warfare 3. The first downside, they tend to have more recoil and visual recoil, and obviously this fixes that. The second is that most of the assault rifles tend to be at a natural disadvantage due to the exclusive barrel stocks and rear grip attachments. Uh, those attachments for Modern Warfare 2 are usually horrible, where in Modern Warfare 3, they're some of the most powerful attachments you can equip to your weapons. The Jack Requiem part acts as a barrel attachment, so that knocks that out of the park. It allows you to use the one good stock option without having to worry about harming your recoil. And it opens up the speed grip attachment that you'd usually avoid because of recoil penalties. Uh, you'll see later, I opt not to use a grip attachment. I think there's a better setup you can use, but the option is available to you. So this new aftermarket part makes the Kasav 762 easy to use, but of course that doesn't mean much if the weapon isn't competitive. Now the AK-47 has actually always been a good weapon. It even received a buff in, it was around season 1 or season 2, where the time to kill for this weapon maxes out at 400 milliseconds. So the AK already outgunned most ARs at all ranges, but the downside was it just had too much recoil. I found it very unreliable, so much so that I didn't even include it in the Modern Warfare 2 Assault Rifles Worth Using video that I made a while back. Now again, the Jack Requiem addresses all the recoil stuff. The one downside to using this attachment though is that it does reduce your fire rate, but it's only by 4%. So your time to kill you're looking at is 312 milliseconds within it, 28 meters with the Jack Requiem attachment. Plus, the Kostov 762 deals consistent damage, so you can land your shots anywhere to the body, not only within 28 meters, but at every single range. Uh, beyond 28 meters, it's going to be a 5-shot kill, and that clocks out to 416 milliseconds. That's right, you can kill in 416 milliseconds all the way out to like 100 meters across the map. Uh, it, it's absolutely insane when you consider that this has no recoil it's just easy to land your shots at range so yes this certainly is a meta one of the fastest killing long range weapons that's available in the game it's also a very competitive at close to mid-range combat i would say 312 milliseconds is towards the tail end of what i would consider a good close range assault rifle time to kill at least within season four right now um it's especially good when you consider that you can land your shots anywhere to the body but for comparison the mcw kills in 336 milliseconds so yes this jack requiem part is going to be faster uh the ak-47 however doesn't get any value out of headshots or the mcw you only need one headshot within the max damage range to reduce your shots to kill but i do think most players will extract more value out of the jack requiem kit due to how easy it is to use if you want to give this uh, aftermarket part a try, this is what I'm using in the gameplay you've been watching. It's more so designed for multiplayer, but I mean, look at all these attachment options you have when you equip the Jack Requiem kit. Usually these aftermarket parts will block out a few different attachment options. This only blocks out the barrel, so you have tons of stuff to work with here. I like to use the DR6 hand stop and the Pro Light stock. These will speed up your aim down sight and sprint to fire speed, your movement speeds, and it significantly increase 
increases your strafe speed. I like to rock the high grain rounds to increase the range, increase the bullet velocity a little bit. Plus, I have some special tracers with this, so it gives me some cool kill effects in games. And then I like to round out the class with the Jack Glassless Optic because it's a nice little dot to put on any weapon and it smooths out some of the sway issues you may have with this. So overall, you're getting a lot of movement boosts out of this setup. Uh, unfortunately, it only puts the Kasav 762 on par with your typical Modern Warfare 3 assault rifle loadout. The uh, third downside to Modern Warfare 2 assault rifles that I haven't mentioned is that they are significantly slower in terms of movement speed compared to Modern Warfare 3. So again, these attachments are putting it on par. However, the strafe speed is a standout. That is faster than average for your Modern Warfare 3 assault rifles. Now, the aim down sight speed and the sprint to fire speed are noticeably faster than what I would have on a typical Modern Warfare 3 assault rifle class. And again, we have that no recoil thing, a fast time to kill. It's a really nice feeling loadout. Now, if you're looking for something for, uh, you know, a more long range engagements like in Warzone, you're going to want to boost your bullet velocity more since that is something that this penalizes. You'll want to swap either, I think the, the stock or the underbarrel would be good substitutes to put a bullet velocity suppressor on. You'll probably want to swap your ammo for some high velocity rounds so you get a 20% boost. I mean, overall, you can use whatever you want with this kit and do just fine. You don't really have to worry about recoil or try to improve your recoil at all because the Jack Requiem is hard carrying in that department. So overall, I feel like this is one of the better aftermarket parts. I love the trend that we've seen recently of giving Modern Warfare 2 weapons aftermarket parts that either reinvent how they work, like the Lockwood Mark II, making those Model 1887 shotguns, or giving them a competitive buff like we're seeing with the Jack Requiem. That's just my opinion though. Let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. Are you vibing with this uh, aftermarket part? Is it something you think you want to unlock and try or does this not appeal to you whatsoever? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to tap that like button. Get subscribed to the channel if you aren't already. My name's D. Thank you so much for watching as always and I'll catch y'all on the next one.